Morning all, I've got uh, some new stuff to show off, updated products and some new products from Garage Therapy in today's video. You know if you've watched my channel before, it's a favoured brand of mine. They've got some updates and new things and I'm trying them on a completely different car. Uh, this is Natalie's hire car because her Fiesta is dead. So <laughs> uh, we picked this up last week and they didn't wash it, they didn't have time to wash it so I thought great. I get to wash it and uh, yeah, I'll take you around it, we'll have a look at it and then we'll check out some of the new products. So a quick look at the products here, there are some mainstays, obviously zero decon shampoo which I have de decanted into this dosing bottle. This is something new here, this is Dash Serum, looking forward to trying that one, that's meant to be a Dash dressing of sorts but it's not a normal dressing, typical garage therapy, they don't do things like everyone else. Now I've got snow foam here, one snow foam but this is one snow foam V2 here. So the old version I've tried, the new version is supposed to be a bit better, you can see the colour is slightly different. I'm actually going to use version 1 in a pump sprayer to spray wet on the car and version 2 as the snow foam. I've also got wheel shampoo, that's a mainstay, and one car shampoo. Then over here, Sigma version 2 sealant, I'm looking forward to trying this one. And then mainstay, my favourite quick detailer, two quick detailer, then I've got one glass cleaner and one tyre serum which will be applied with the good old car scrub brush. So these are all the products I'm going to try today and I'm going to pump sprayer for some of this stuff here. Let's get cracking. So you can see here these are the rim mats loading the car very carefully and gingerly up onto them. These help to raise the tyres up off the ground and out of the way a little bit. That allows you to clean tires all the way around the shoulder and you can see there's a wedge at the back there so you know when you can stop. A set of four of these, there'll be a link in my bio if you are interested in them. You can see there the tire is raised up, the shoulder is up and out of the way and that allows for better cleaning of the tires and also for dressing applications. So I'm just doing a bit of testing here. This is all to do with whether or not a pre-wash is actually going to do anything. I see so many people talking about this, whether or not you should be using a pre-wash and if it's worthwhile having. So I've only applied it to the back quarter of the car here, the back door, the back wing and half of the rear bumper. And everything here is getting a, a pressure rinse off after about five minutes of being allowed to dwell. And lots of people will argue and say the pressure washer will do the job for you. So here I am getting in nice and close, nice and slow and even with my pressure washing, just with everything else. And we'll have a look in just a second at how well all of this performs. Now this is the dirt after the car had been mostly dried off with warm air. You can see the back doors, there's a little bit of film there. On the front doors, much more. It looks like hardly anything has changed. So a pre-wash is effective. And that was the Garage Therapy Snow Foam mixed at around 10 to 1 in a pump sprayer. Now on this side of the car, I started spraying before I realized I hadn't pressed record. And so the front half of the car was pre-rinsed the rear half of the car was not pre-rinsed and then everything was given a coating of version 2 of the snow foam. And again, drying the panel here with warm air, you'll see there is practically no difference. There is a small amount of road film left there, but very little and it's very even. So pre-rinsing your car isn't always necessary, but you can see here that applied to both sides of the car pre-washed or sorry pre-rinsed and not pre-rinsed there is no noticeable finger line difference they're exactly the same i would recommend though pre-rinsing if you've got heavier dirt deposits on your car so now just to get on with the job everything else that hadn't been pre-washed gets a good coating of that one snow foam mixed in the pump sprayer and then a coating of two snow foam in my foam lance.
Everything gets a rinse from bottom to top. It helps you to see where you've been. I'm not just rinsing off the snow foam, I'm also using the pressure of the pressure washer to blast off as much dirt as was left behind. Now in this bucket, this is Garage Therapy's one wheel shampoo, which is a fantastic wheel shampoo, a great wheel cleaner, if that's something you're interested in. The tire has been given a spray with Garage Therapy's Zero Decon Shampoo mixed at 10 to 1 in a spray trigger. And that gets a scrub down with the SGCB tire scrubbing brush. I will have a video coming up soon testing a couple of different scrubbing brushes for tires. That is Garage Therapy's wheel mitt, really handy for getting around the spokes of the car. Much nicer than some brushes, for example. It helps you to get your hand properly around a spoke. You can see there, there's still a bunch of yellow staining on the wheels. This being a higher car, I don't think they've done a good enough job of cleaning the wheels. So this is Garage Therapy's Zero Iron Oxide. It's their iron fallout remover. And after five minutes, you can see it's starting to bleed some fallout from there. I'm also using a heavy duty Atlasta brush this is a chemically resistant brush now this is the softer of the two that I own you can see here that it's definitely foaming up it's a really good product to use to help you clean down your wheels because it does actually contain cleaners it is not just an iron fallout remover it actually contains some proper shampoo in it as well giving it a rinse off it hasn't really removed that yellow staining from the wheels so I needed to go a bit heavier. This is actually a wheel acid. I believe it came from Lidl or Aldi some years ago and I only bought it really to work on things like chrome exhaust tips. So here I'm going with the heavier duty, much rougher at last I brush with that wheel acid as well. Just to see if I can scrub out some of this yellow staining and ingrained dirt. And I'm sorry, you're looking at the back of my head here. I didn't really have a good camera location for this one at all. But giving it some really good care and attention and you can see the wheels are now much brighter than they were, a lot less yellow staining. Now this is Garage Therapy's one maintenance shampoo in my snow foam lance. This is my new favorite thing. That's also Garage Therapy's new wash pad. It's a very big pad, it's slightly stiff. It takes a bit of getting used to this one. It's so big and it has such an absorbent core that it gets very heavy when you load this up with water or shampoo. But the large size means you can do a large area in a very quick manner of time. Now, remember, this is a higher car. This is not my car. I don't really go too much into this with too much care and love and attention. I'm just giving it a once over, but you can see there the pad really does glide over that shampoo, which is fantastic. And using this one bucket method rather than two buckets, I'm just spraying on shampoo, working over with the mitt, or at least the pad, and then just rinsing it off in a bucket of clean water. And this is to show you here that there's absolutely no protection on the paint whatsoever. The other side gets the same job see just how much water that thing holds it's a really big it's like I say slightly stiff it takes a bit of getting used to but it's a cracking piece of kit I do really like it I do rate it it's just that if you're used to a mitt it could take a bit of getting used to you can see there there's hardly any repellency going on here it looks glossy because it's still holding on to all the water those light sections are dry sections so you can see the car is very hydrophilic right now. It's hanging on to the water. So the car gets a dry off. This is Sam's detailing drying towel. It's the one I had to hand. And take off the worst of the water. And then here is version 2 of Garage Therapy's 2 Sigma sealant. I'm using this towel that is Garage Therapy embossed as well. Very nice. And give it a good shake. A few sprays on your towel, if it's a new towel, to prime it, and then a couple of sprays onto the panel. 
and it is simplicity in itself to apply. Simply wipe it across evenly Generally not. and then once you've left it for about 30 seconds, buff it straight off again. Same you can thing. see it leaves a little bit of Design something design. behind. Most of it evaporates away. But this is a really, really lovely product to use. One of my favorites because it's just so simple and easy. Just massage it into your paint, leave it for 30 seconds, and then I'm using their finishing towel here as well, which is much more plush on one side. And it is simplicity in itself just to buff off. You get an immediate difference in the slickness on the paint. It really is a cracking product to use. Very simple and straightforward. Same on the other side. Really simple and straightforward. It, it really is. It doesn't get much simpler than this. It's as enjoyable as a wax to use, in my opinion, but with half of the time and half of the effort involved. Instant gloss and lovely color depth there. And then for the water behavior, you can see that's instant too. Lots of beading and sheeting going on there. Just, just lovely. Really, really nice. And then here is the obligatory drying with water section. You can only do this if your car has some form of protection on the paint. If you don't have protection, the water will just sit there. But here, we're utilizing the sheeting ability of the product. I have an aerated nozzle on my hose trigger here, and that allows me to create a sheet without splashes. And look at that, most of the water has gone. Hardly anything left to dry off. Here is Garage Therapy's 2 Quick Detailer. A mainstay product of mine. This is absolutely fantastic. Simplicity again. This time you don't need to allow it to cure. Simply spray it on, wipe it over. It's got cleansers in there in the form of some car shampoo. And it also has some nano sealant which will give you a couple of weeks worth of protection out of it. Instant slickness, instant gloss. Really lovely. So, if you like quick short-term protection rather than putting something on that takes a little bit longer then this could be your option over the two Sigma. And this can also be used on those chrome trims on the black glossy plastics on the door handles anything at all really. I wanted to show it being used in a wet application here as a drying aid so I have sprayed down that door there is no protection on it at all a quick spray of the two quick detailer on there. One side of the towel to spread it over and you're also picking up excess water on the panel. And you can either flip your towel over to a dry side or you can use a second towel and just give it a buff over to bring up the shine and pick up anything that may have been left over afterwards. And you saw before that spraying the water on the panel did absolutely nothing and here you've got your beading. Lovely. Instant protection. Now here's the Garage Therapy Tire Serum. One of my absolute favorite tire products. This is not just a dressing. This is a tire nourisher. This goes into the tires. It soaks in and helps keep them looking good for longer. That is the Carscope tire applicator brush. These two are a match made in heaven, to be perfectly honest. The brush allows the really straightforward and easy spreading and even spreading of the product across the tire. A small amount goes a long way with this. And if you want extra shiny tires, give it a second coating. If you want more matte, you can give it a wipe over with a microfiber. But if you leave it alone, it will look fairly neutral. This is Garage Therapy's glass cleaner now. Using their cloth, it is both Garage Therapy and Into Detailing. This is a, a collaboration between the two companies to create this towel. And you can see it's a very, very short pile. There's 
practically no pile there at all. Towels do have an impact on how well your products work. This glass cleaner is one of these that doesn't evaporate away very, very quickly. It hangs around a little bit longer, and that means that the active cleaners in there can stick around and properly clean the glass. But the more you wipe it around, eventually it starts to flash away, and you'll see that it'll leave nothing behind. Once it flashes, there are no streaks, no smears. Very simple and straightforward. They don't come much better than this. That evaporation just disappears really quickly, leaves nothing behind. But make sure you have a decent towel for it. If you use something with long pile, you could end up leaving fluff and lint behind and you could end up with streaks on your glass. So the towel is just as important. Now we've got a scrubber dubber here. This is going on the dashboard and in that bottle is Garage Therapy's Zero Decon Shampoo mixed at 50 to 1. This is my interior cleaner. It is just a cleaner and nothing more. The scrubber dubber helps to get into that textured surface on the dashboard to wipe it over, get into all those intricate parts, that weird design that they have on the dash, and then flip it over to its other side and you can wipe it all back off again. Really nice and straightforward and instantly I could feel a difference there that the dashboard didn't feel quite so slippery, there was a bit more grabbiness to it. That's usually a sign that the dash is actually quite clean. Now this is Dash Serum. This is a new product from Garage Therapy which contains no silicones or anything that would be left behind on the dashboard. There are no reflective chemicals within this. It does not add shininess to your dashboard at all. I've got it sprayed onto a foam applicator here and just massage it in, wipe it over, make sure you get an even coverage everywhere and then grab your utility towel I just wipe it off and instantly I could feel even more grabbiness with this. Now you can see it doesn't leave anything behind, there are no shiny silicones, nothing at all, but by peeling off the tape you see an instant darkening on that dashboard. I'm trying to wipe over the tape line there and you can see the difference. The left side has been treated, the right side hasn't, but it stays matte, not shiny. And there it is. That's the whole car. Glossy and shiny. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully on the podcast too. Links in the description.